It's TK Friday, and today this is part two of Saturation Vibrance Masks. Today we're looking at saturation masks and a whole lot more. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Yes, today we're looking at the uh, saturation masks in the TK7 Go panel. We're also going to recap on Vibrance masks and I'm going to show you a few little things in there because Tony mentioned in one of my comments about some extra things that you can do with Vibrance masks and I want to really call that to your attention today as well as show you what saturation masks are all about and saturation painting which will really help you to really give you that balance in your image that you want, that color balance. So let's get started. I have three different examples for you today, and they're all flowers, because if you watch my videos, you know I'm really into flowers. So I love flower images. So I have this one, this one, and this one. These are my own images, so I don't really have, um, how should I say, uh, they're not stock images, so I don't have those available for you. But what I'm showing you here works on any image. And remember that whenever you add this color balance to your image, it's best to wait to the end of your process, okay? So wait till you're done with your uh, editing, and these would be your finishing touches, adding color balance to your image. But we're going to start out with this image here, and I think it could use a little extra saturation. Now, my original thought when I made this image was I wanted it to be a little more in the muted side, and I think it's pretty that way. But today I thought, let, let me try a different interpretation on it by adding a little more saturation to it, and I thought... Saturation Vibrance Mask would be the best way to bring that balance to this image to up the saturation game on this particular image. Now let's begin to pull up the saturation and we'll also balance out all the colors. So we're going to start out by coming to the Saturation Vibrance Mask. We'll click on that. We're greeted with a Saturation 1 mask and that is showing us the most extremely saturated areas. Any light area will be extremely saturated or more saturated than the darker or the darker gray areas. We're going to start out with vibrance because we want to bring the weaker colors up first. So we're going to get back to saturation, but we're going to start with vibrance first. So let's go to vibrance one. Now this is the opposite of the saturation mask. The light areas now are the weaker saturated areas and the darker areas are the more saturation, more saturated areas. So it's reversed and watch this histogram. Now this is the easiest way to find out how to set up this adjustment. Just watch this histogram, work through these numbers here. We start with a one, I'm gonna to go to a two. Watch this histogram start to shift from the right over to the left. See the edge of it is right in the middle now. I wanna keep going till I can get this edge to almost touch the left hand side here. That's how you set yourself up for perfection when you're working with the vibrance adjustment, okay? So we're gonna keep working this over. And I'm almost there, I gotta come one more time, let's go to a four. Now I've got it. This leaf right here is highly saturated because it's really dark. It's almost black. This flower here is very light because it probably has little or no saturation. And if you want to check that out, just come to this uh, icon right here, here with the left and right arrow and click this. And yes, that's a white flower, hardly any saturation in it. So that's why it looks very light on this vibrance mask. So remember, this is a really good aid for you to know what you're doing here in case you forget. And you can always go back to these videos and watch them again. But this is so easy to do. Now I have the perfect setup to get my vibrance adjustment. Now that we have the perfect mask, let's output the mask. And all we have to do is come down here and click on this hue saturation icon right here. And now we have a hue saturation adjustment. Now, as you'll recall, Photoshop has a vibrance adjustment, but it is not as powerful as this TK7 Go panel vibrance adjustment. The vibrance adjustment in Photoshop just deals with uh, weaker colors, but the brilliance of the TK7 Go panel vibrance adjustment is the fact that we are using a hue saturation adjustment, which is letting us target not only overall saturation, but if you see right here where it says master and you click here, we can also deal with all these other colors, okay? And we can also deal with the hues of those colors. So we can adjust hue, we can adjust individual saturation levels, and we can adjust overall saturation. So as you can see right there, that is much more powerful. And that gets me really excited. So let's go ahead and bring up the overall saturation, which is where I recommend that you start. So I'm gonna take the saturation 
and let's start to bump it up and bring some saturation to this image here. Now you can go overboard here, so be careful, but I can bring this slider up pretty far and I think I'm gonna settle on that a 72. All right, now here's where we can really tweak this image, okay? So I, I have my target adjustment tool set up here. And if yours isn't set up, you can come up here to this little hamburger menu and make sure you have auto-selected target adjustment tool checked on, okay? So I think the blues are a little too hot. I'm going to go ahead and just click and drag this to the left. All right, and just ease back in those blues. And I may think that this yellow might be slightly hot here, so I'm gonna click here and just drag slightly to the left. See the flexibility I have here, the extra adjustment. And then this red here, I may say, these redder tones, I may wanna bring those up. So not only can I remove saturation, but I can click and I can increase saturation. So I'm gonna bring that up a decent amount here. Maybe to about right here, but I don't like this saturation here, but I'll show you how I'll take care of areas that got too much saturation. Like see right over in here, I think there's a little too much saturation there. And that's where the saturation mask and saturation painting will come into effect, which is next. Now let's go back up to saturation vibrance right here. Click on here and now we have our number one saturation mask. I'm gonna leave it on a one. Now follow me closely here. So what I wanna do is create a saturation mask that targets the most saturated color. And here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use this uh, levels adjustment here. And remember the lighter areas are the areas that are more saturated. So I wanna target those super light areas and I'm gonna use this uh, levels adjustment to do it. So take this highlight slider and start to move it into the left. And I'm trying to get those lighter colors super light if I can. I'm gonna move it way in, maybe somewhere right around there. And now I wanna target it to the most saturated color. So I'm gonna take this mid-tone level adjustment and start to move it towards the highlight adjustment and watch how it just kind of narrows down the range there. Now you don't wanna go too crazy because you wanna maintain your feathering, okay? So I'm gonna say right around there. Now I've targeted these very saturated areas, these light areas, okay? So all I need to do at this point is come here to this hamburger menu click on this and click on saturation painting. And when I do, what's gonna happen, it's going to make a selection and it's gonna give me a blank layer. And take a notice here, it's in a saturation blend mode and it's that way for a reason. Because I'm going to be painting with gray paint and extremely red paint. When I paint on the image with gray paint, it'll reduce saturation when I paint with red paint it will increase saturation, really cool. Now let me walk you through the saturation painting. I'm using this to remove, remember I said I have too hot of red in this area here, right up in here. This blue's a little bit too strong. There might be some other areas that came up too much when I brought this red up on this area right here, okay? I have a blank layer, it's in the saturation blend mode. And I have gray paint and I have red paint. Now remember, gray paint will decrease saturation and red paint will increase saturation. And when you're doing saturation painting, the TK7 Go panel sets you up with gray because it realizes that you basically want to remove saturation on areas that got a little oversaturated. But we can also increase with red paint, so we can go either way, but I'm just using gray paint. Now, my opacity is set to 10%, so I can be, I can have a pretty decent sized brush here because I have a mask or I have a selection that I'm painting through. Remember, I'm painting through a selection. See that red dashed line? That tells me I have a selection made. So I can come here and every time I, I'm using a Wacom pen, so every time I lift my pen and paint again, I'm taking 10% of that red off. Like here, I'm gonna stroke it once, twice. Here's three times. I took 30% of that saturation off there. Now I'm on this red area here. I'm gonna get it once, twice, three times. It's gone. This blue area is a little too hot. I'm gonna get it once, twice, three times, four times. I'm gonna come over here, paint that a couple times. A little hot right here, I'm gonna paint that a couple times, maybe in here. This area here is a little too hot, maybe right here. I'm just giving it a couple strokes here. Because remember, every time I stroke it, like I'm gonna give this one more stroke, that's another 10% off of there. And if I felt I went a little too strong here, look, I'll give it one. I'll give it two strokes right there. Now, let me see. Now watch the image. Here's the before, okay, and here's the after. So again, now pay careful attention to the image. Here's the before, and here's the after. So it just targeted like this area, this area, up in here. Now, if I option click on this layer here, let's see if we can see it. 
see how I'm painting through a selection and it's super accurate how it painted. I hope you can see that on there, these light areas of this gray paint. But I'm painting through a selection, remember. But that's how you balance out your image. So we started out, our image looked like this. And now it looks like this through the help of saturation and vibrance mass. Now we're going to do our last two images. I'm going to go a lot quicker here. Here's our next image. And so we're going to go ahead, saturation, vibrance. And again, the lighter areas are the more saturated areas. Let's go right to the vibrance mask because this is where we're going to start. There's a one. Here's a two. And watch how this histogram starts moving over to the left. Let's go one more time. Three. And I think we've got it right there. And now we're going to output this to a hue saturation adjustment. And now we're going to pull up the overall saturation. Just like so. Maybe right around there. And if I think the magenta or the pinkish tones are too hot, we can use this targeted tool here. And let me click on this area right here where it's the hottest saturation and start to pull this back just a little wee bit. Okay, good. And if I think this yellow is a little too hot here, I could pull the yellows back, but I think I'm just going to use the saturation painting to pull that back a little bit. But overall, I think it looks good. Here's the before. And here's the after, moving in the right direction. Let's click on the SV saturation vibrance icon. And now we're working with the saturation on a one mask. And we're gonna take this uh, modification slider, which is a levels adjustment, move it to the left. We wanna make those light areas super light. It's light, you know, make them pretty light. I don't wanna overdo it, you know, where they're, you know, see how they're just overdoing it. They're blowing out. I don't wanna go that much. So I want to go maybe maybe like around there. And then I'm going to take this midtone and start to move it to the right to target that area and see how it targets it. And I'm mainly interested in these yellows around here, okay? So let me even pull that in a little bit more, that targeted area. Yeah, I think that's looking really nice. That'll select that area rather nicely. So let me go to the hamburger menu, click it, and choose Saturation Painting. All right, now remember, I'm painting through a selection. See my red line right here. I got the gray paint. I'm still at 10%. I'm going to make my brush a little smaller because I want to stay out of this area. It's not oversaturated. And this area up here is pretty good, but right here, I'm going to give it one pass, two passes. Now I'm going to come this way. One pass, two pass, three pass. And here, I'm going to hit this a couple more times. Maybe up here once, maybe here once. Now let's take a look. Here's the before. And here's the after. I don't know if you can see right here, but I took a little too much off in this area. So look, I'll just get some red paint and paint here once, twice, and here. And I fixed it. It's just that simple. Now, if we option click this layer, you can see how well that has targeted. See, there's my red paint, there's my gray paint, but it's painting through a selection here beautifully. I love it, it's incredible. And now let's move on to our last image. This will go really quick. Saturation vibrance masks. Uh, we're going to go ahead with vibrance and watch the histogram as I work through these numbers. Let's go to a two. Moving to the left, let's go to a three. One more time to the left. I think we're good there. I'll put that to a saturation, hue saturation adjustment layer. And simply let's bring up the saturation. Now there's a decent amount of saturation here, but let's just bring this up a little bit. Maybe a little, uh, that's way too much. I really grabbed the slider that time. But maybe right around there. Now I like it, I think these reds are a little too hot. So remember, I have my target adjustment tool. I can just click on this really saturated red here and start to move this to the left. And see how I can just target that color right there. So there we go, we've went from here to here. And I'm happy. And if I don't need to use the saturation uh, painting deal where I use a saturation mask, I'm good. You don't have to use everything. If you just need to use vibrance, use vibrance. If you need to use them both, then use both saturation painting and vibrance adjustments. But there we go. Well, that was part two of saturation and vibrance masks. I hope you learned a lot here and I hope the three images kind of cement here what we're doing and how quickly and easily this is to do. It takes me longer to explain it than it really does to do it as you can obviously see. And hopefully those last couple images showed you that, but it's really fast.
Let me know what you think about this in the comments section below and let me know if you've been trying this out and maybe as a homework assignment, take some finished images and see if you can pop some extra color in them, bring some color balance to them and see if you get some really happy results from it. Well, if you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like, share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified. 